hello everyone and welcome to day 26 of the Forks Over Knives challenge. So I am making something that is um, on the Forks Over Knives uh, recipe. It is called chilled peanut noodles. And this is super, super, super fast and quick and easy to make. You have to make some pasta and you have to make some um, peanut sauce and you're done. Life is super easy. So it says to make a pound of whole grain spaghetti. Um, I am actually, I actually would choose to make edamame spaghetti rather than pasta, like wheat based or, well, we don't do wheat, but rice based pasta um, for two reasons. One, it's got a whole lot of, well, mostly one reason. It's got a whole lot of fiber and that's really what I'm looking for, but it does have a decent amount of protein if that's something that's important to you. It's not really a big deal to me, but um, this has, there's, let's see, four servings in this container and each one is 13 grams of fiber. So that's, that is a lot of fiber. So this is the kind of noodle that we're using. It's the green one rather than the white or black one. Um, but anyways, so you have that. You're supposed to get some scallions and chop them up. Um, super easy again. Um, with the exception of the fact that our scallions that are outside froze and they're fine. They're standing up nice and tall and everything, but I went to chop some up and they're very, very gooey, like mm, gooey. So I don't think there's anything wrong with them, but they certainly won't take a pretty picture. So I think that we're just gonna put mixed veggies in here. I think we're going to cook up some mixed vegetables and put that in with our noodles because you gotta have a vegetable of some sort and scallions kind of don't really count all that much. <laughs> it's kind of pushing a little bit. Um, but anyways, and then you're supposed to put chopped peanuts on this to garnish. I'm not going to do that part because I really don't see any reason to do um, chopped peanuts on something that has a peanut sauce because peanut sauce can be more than enough. So here's the ingredients for the peanut sauce recipe. And then you just whisk this together in a little bowl. And it says it will stay good for seven days in the refrigerator, which is kind of impressive, but let's put this together. All right, so first thing, you need one half cup of peanut butter. There we go. And then you need four tablespoons of soy sauce. Oh, I should have taken the lid off of that. That's going to take forever, isn't it? Do, 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 do. All right, there's two. Oh, maybe I should use a bigger bowl. Hmm. Yeah, that'll be okay. Two, four. You need two tablespoons of rice vinegar. You need four tablespoons. It says brown rice syrup. I'm using maple syrup because I don't have brown rice syrup. I have told you guys that I have had brown rice syrup in the past and my kids really, really did not care for it. So it's really not something I'm going to purchase again. They, they were not big fans. And the last two things, which I am going to add, kind of, are one quarter of a teaspoon of ginger, which normally I don't add ginger to stuff because I'm not a huge fan, but I think that I will go ahead and add the quarter of a teaspoon of ginger. I think that will probably taste fine with this amount of other spicy stuff. And it calls for one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm going to use an eighth of a teaspoon of this sauce. Um, that's probably going to be spicy enough for me. My husband's going to eat this with me and I'm pretty sure that he is going to put more than that in his. In fact, I'm positive. He will, he will put some more of that than that on his. Okay, so that is your sauce. Super, super simple. Just need to whisk this together. I'm going to go do that very carefully because I'm a little worried about it uh, going everywhere. But. That is what I'm going to do, um, and I will show you my plate of wonderful goodness in just a minute. Alrighty guys, so I have pasta with veggies and a really awesome peanut sauce. So the peanut sauce that my husband and I are used to is a like peanut butter and soy sauce and lime juice type sauce, and this is not like that. This is very different, um, and it's good. Actually, it's very good. Um, it's a little bit sweeter than I expected it to be, which is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I have no problems with sweet. I haven't tried it on the pasta yet. Um, just made a pretty picture. I tried to make a pretty picture. I made as pretty of a picture as I usually make. So there you go. Let's try this. Hmm. That is good. If you have never made a peanut sauce before, I think you will enjoy this highly. If you've made a peanut lime juice soy sauce sauce before. I think you'll still enjoy this. So there you go. It's actually very, very good on the noodles. Oh my goodness, that's yummy. Okay, well, I'm gonna take a bowl of this and I actually still have a bowl of um, 
some spaghetti from what Anthony had made left over in the refrigerator with some green beans in it. Um, I didn't get a chance to eat all of it the other day. It's been a few days now. Anyway, so I'm going to take that and this. I have two meals for tonight, so I'm going to be just perfectly set, and I will see you guys in the morning. Alrighty, guys. So I am home from work, and I just want to tell you that the peanut um, pasta stuff was really, really good. Like, it was very, very tasty, especially with the mixed veggies in it. I would totally recommend that. Um, maybe even some, some baked up tofu pieces or something. That would be super tasty too. Anyway, Anthony had it last night for supper and he did add more of the, um, the chili garlic sauce to his and he really, really liked it as well. So anyways, I thought that was pretty exciting. I am waiting for him to get home from taking the boys to school and we are actually going to exercise in the living room today, even though I have a hat and I could go for a walk. It's chilly outside. So we're just going to exercise in the living room. That'll be fine boring but okay i need the exercise so there you go anyway that's it for me for today guys i hope you have a great day and i will see you again tomorrow